Welcome to IRL Media News, I'm your host Chris Thompson, and today we're going to discuss all things Lionel Messi. We'll dive into how the Saudis tried to score the ultimate goal in the sport of football, better known here in the United States as soccer, by attempting to bribe, I mean, sign Lionel Messi to a $1.5 billion contract. Spoiler, it didn't work. And lastly, we'll discuss what these developments mean for the future of soccer. All that and more on today's episode of IRL Media News. Let's get into it. The Saudis have managed to sign some of the biggest names in the world of soccer, superstars like Ronaldo and Benzema, for example. Then the Saudis set their sights on a player who is arguably just as popular and talented, if not more, than Ronaldo, Lionel Messi. Messi was born in Argentina on June 24, 1987, and in his 36 years since, he's excelled in the sport by scoring more goals than any other player in La Liga history. 474 goals in 520 appearances, to give you an exact figure. That's just a staggering number when compared to anyone else in the league, including Ronaldo. Messi was offered nearly $1.6 billion by the Saudis for his soccer services over a three-year contract, but he turned them down. Instead, he's taking his talents to the MLS's Inter Miami FC to play for David Beckham's team. It was not an easy decision, Messi admits, but he did what he thought was best for his family. Messi's wife, Antonella Brucuzio, has been by his side since childhood, and the couple has three children. Messi has made a statement alluding to his unhappiness while living in Paris. He said he wanted to get back to the day-to-day -day enjoyments of his family, and Miami was a perfect location for him to do that. Plus, it didn't hurt that he already had a home in Miami with family and friends nearby. It turns out money didn't actually play into his decision that much, he said. If he wanted to make more money, he could have easily picked the Saudis or gone elsewhere in Europe. And if he wants to visit his home country, Argentina, he's living much closer in Miami than he would be if he was playing in Europe or the Middle East. Want yet another way to stay on top of current events and get a fresh take on the business behind the news? Sign up for IRL Media News' e-newsletter, where we discuss everything from Swift and Nomics to Lionel Messi's pink jersey. Check out the link below in the description. The terms of Messi's MLS deal are pretty spectacular, and they sure better be in order to trump what the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is offering. Although Messi still has a lucrative tourism deal to uphold with the Saudis, the deal with Inter Miami FC is just jaw-dropping. Inter Miami FC co-owner Georgie Moss revealed the breakdown of Messi's contract. This is going to knock your shin guards off. His on-field earnings will net him between 50 to $60 million per year, and that's just the tip of the iceberg for what he could earn overall. Apple TV and Adidas jumped in to offer Messi a piece of the broadcast partnership that MLS has with Apple TV and a piece of the endorsement deal that Adidas has with MLS, which it seems is a really good deal since Messi's pink jerseys are flying off the shelves worldwide since he arrived at Inter Miami FC. Both of these endorsement deals have given Messi the potential to make even more money than he could have earned with a Saudi contract. Both Apple TV and Adidas were happy to pen these unprecedented deals with one of the world's most popular athletes, and ratings have skyrocketed since Messi laced up his cleats. On top of all of this, there's speculation that Messi may also receive a minority ownership stake in Inter Miami FC at the end of his contract. No word on when that will actually end or if he'll retire from the sport of soccer after his stint in the MLS. David Beckham is a co-owner of Inter Miami FC and is literally the man who blazed the trail for Messi to join the MLS. Beckham signed a similar contract with MLS back in 2007. As part of his deal to join the LA Galaxy, Beckham was given the option to one day own an MLS franchise for a mere $25 million, a tiny number compared to the actual cost of buying a new franchise these days. Beckham exercised this option in 2014 and began building a team in Miami. By 2018, the stadium contracts were in place, and in 2020, Inter-Miami FC played their first game. So what will all this mean for MLS in the coming years? Certainly, landing one of the greatest soccer players ever is going to have a colossal impact on the sport in America. Soccer, better known in the rest of the world as football, has historically been more popular on a global scale than it has here in the United States. But admit it, you can't wait to see Lionel Messi play under the South Florida sun. That's it for our show. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon down below to get the latest updates from IRL Media News.